Okay, in this video, uh, and I think I should clarify things here, in this video I want to make it perfectly clear um, uh, as far as my position regarding religion is concerned. Okay, just for all viewers um, who are visiting my channel. I am completely against the entire concept of organized religion, entirely. I do, however, recognize the potential, it's hard to put this in words, but <clears throat> from an evolutionary standpoint, okay, I do recognize the concept of evolutionary advantage in a psychological way uh, in terms of propagating the species in, in terms of such a belief system because from, um, <laughs> from a, an evolutionary psycho psychological standpoint that might actually be valid. Uh, it's difficult to say but for some reason you know, an, an optimistic uh, sort of stance towards life and uh, it, towards some imagined afterlife might actually be uh, uh, contributing to procreation of our species to some degree on this planet. Now, how all this works out in the end, nobody knows, of course, because after we're gone, you know, nobody, nobody somebody else is going to be writing the history uh, history books and the history of science and all this. All I can tell you is this. I am more inclined to look at actual evidence than simply claims being made that uh, uh, you have to believe in some sort of dogma uh, which is unfailable to start with. Okay, Science isn't like that. Science is, science recognizes um, at least it has up until now, science recognizes that there are fallibility within science itself, which is not something that dogmatic religions will ever do. They will command your, your complete acceptance into a dogma, not questioning it one way or the other. Now this goes for the New Agers as well. You know, it, it's like, well, every, everything is open. Everything is open to interpretation. Well, it may not be open to interpretation anymore once new evidence comes in. I'm sorry. So the, this, this openness can only go so far uh, as long as you're open enough to consider new evidence coming in. And then you adjust your openness, so to speak. I'm not trying to be vague here. All I'm saying is th there will never be anybody who can, uh, nobody, nobody who can ever disprove the existence of some superior being. It's simply not possible. On the other hand, science can postulate um, certain evidence that there is something which is actually happening for which there is evidence while not making the claim, not making the claim that, you know, some superior being or entity is there to oversee it all. That is all, that is basically what the entire argument is all about. I would, um, I would very much urge you to listen to some of the lectures of, uh, somebody named Lawrence Krauss, who is a theoretical physicist. You know, he, he deals most of all with the cosmos and, uh, and, you know, the Big Bang and why that came about and all this stuff. It, it, it is not dogmatic in any way. You know, it does leave the possibility open uh, because the questions cannot be answered. Uh, that how, how did this, how did this come about? It's not, uh, you know, <laughs> that uh, we have to have a, a huge big argument about it, you know, because nobody knows. And during our lifetimes, it will never, ever be proven. You can rest assured. So there is no point in, in, uh, in you know, fighting to the death 
about you know some god exists or whether it doesn't exist it's it's pointless you know nature by in and of itself is complicated enough and you know i i don't myself i don't take a romantic uh view uh, the romantic scientific view uh which is sometimes out there <laughs> in terms of propagating science uh, which postulates that you know everything out there is just wonderful. It's great. It's uh, it's so beautiful and wonderful and all this. No, actually, you know, nature is pretty. It's pretty damn cruel. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, if you look at nature, real nature, and not technologic and not technologically advanced, but if you look at real nature, it's pretty damn cruel. There's absolutely no question about it. You know. Uh, most uh, species or most animals on this planet in the natural world, uh, uh, their method of death is by eating each other alive, basically. So there's, there's n nothing too much romantic about this. The only romanticism in terms of science which is out there is, is this, is this question of why did this, why did this come about? And, and you know how does how does how does nature do this and 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 what and the big question of course is is there any purpose to it is there any purpose to it and if so what what would be the purpose you know species come and go uh 90% of the species on this planet have vanished. Others come back in, uh, not back in, but others evolve. And, and basically it's a, it's a, it's a killing game. Um, guess what it is. And, uh, you know, whether people try to make sense out of that or not it is, from a logical perspective, almost irrelevant because we we won't get an answer to it. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Um, I've listened to scientific slash religious debates regarding all these subjects and. Uh, uh, it is true, you know, to some degree that um, religion, religious beliefs, or you know, are are beneficial to uh, society in terms of bringing about some hope. You know, even though your own life is shit, you know, it, it makes it a little bit better if you keep hoping that it's gonna get better um, in the afterlife or something. But then on the other hand, you know, scientific uh, knowledge doesn't exactly support that point. So, you know, having to live with, within our own parameters uh, as part of the human species, part of, uh, part of that is biological chemical evolution, and part of that is psychological evolution <laughs> in order to basically propagate the species which is not guaranteed um, you have to take everything with a grain of salt and as long as you're part of that species and living here it will probably uh, be good advice you know to take reality into account which means both uh, suffering and the good stuff which happens every once in a while. I mean, this, that's just the way it is. There is very little we can do about this, in my opinion. Uh, we, we can try to mitigate the suffering as much as possible within, you know, within the intelligence of our own species. But then again, our intelligence also works against us many times. So, no, there isn't any ultimate answer to any of this so you know in the in the end you have to decide on it within your own 
personal circumstances while maintaining the possibility of a larger philosophy, uh, which, you know, which might actually be the truth, but which you cannot translate into action. So, yeah, I guess it's kind of a pragmatic video. Um, I don't know. I don't think uh, any any kind of um, fanaticism or I wouldn't even call it fanaticism, but but any kind of um, attempt to live outside of our own reality. It's probably not going to go anywhere. Not much of a, uh, a philosophy, I realize that. Good night.